Hello, my name is Simon Edgoos, and in this series of videos, we're showing you how to get the best out of your DTX M12. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use samples. Inside the M12, there's a lot of drum voices and percussion sounds and tune voices, but you can also use your own samples as well. Samples have to be 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz, and they can be mono or stereo. The maximum file size for a mono file is 2 megabytes, the maximum file size for a stereo file is 4 megabytes, which is about 24 seconds. So I've got my samples on here. I just slot them in the side and then we're ready to go. Now, what I can do is I can import one sample at a time or I can import all the samples at the same time. So we'll just do the importing one sample to start with. So I press shift and wave and then I can see all the samples which are on the USB pen drive. So I choose the one I want to load. I'll go with that one and I press enter. And it's now importing the sound into the DTX M12. Now, when I do this, it does something very, very clever. It asks me if I want to assign that sound to a pad automatically. So what I can do is when it comes up with pad assign equals off on the screen, I can hit the pad that I want that sound to be on. So for instance, let's do this one. This is a sample. We'll put it onto that pad and replace that sound. Hit enter. And now I've got that sample on that pad. Very, very simple, very, very quick. I can just save the patch there or I can do more things if I want to. If I want to import all the samples at the same time, on my USB pen drive. I press wave, then I press right cursor until I see job, and I press enter, and when it says import all, I press the enter button, and all the samples which are on the USB pen drive are pulled in to the M12 at one time. Then we can use the samples just like normal built-in voices, and we can build our kits using these samples. You can easily audition all the samples that you've loaded into your M12 simply by pressing the wave button and then using the plus and the minus key to scroll through all your different samples. And then if you want to listen to one, you just press the wave button again. Very, very simple. So then I can just assign any of these sounds to any pad I want and make whatever sounds I want. This is a sample. This is a sample. This is 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 a sample. This is a sample. This is 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 a sample.